Hi folks, well it's Monday the 30th of March, something like that today. Um, I didn't go around doing a greenhouse update yesterday because I was feeling too rotten and just spent most of the day in bed. I've got a horrible cold at the moment. But by the power of Bitchum's Flu Plus and a bunch of tissues, I thought I'd do a greenhouse update and get my nutrient changes done today. see these plants was uh, three weeks ago now and I just had a quick look at the old video for that and there's quite a difference now so let's have a look around. This is where some people will complain of my shaky camera work but well tough. Yes it's shaky. Yes I'm up a ladder. So starting off with the strawberries. We've had a um, bit of a mishap with the strawberries this week. Um, I was off in on Thursday as well, um, when I came in and had a quick peek in here, the strawberries were all looking very sorry for themselves, they were all wilted and sad, and I realised that their uh, water pump had packed up, wasn't working anymore, and sometime between Sunday and uh, Thursday, it stopped working. So they were looking very, very sad, so I quickly dropped in a replacement pump, um, and I went and had a little sleep and when I got back up the replacement pump had also packed up and stopped working but I managed to fix that one. So strawberries are coming along pretty nicely really. Got some decent sized leaves there. I mean they're kind of heading towards the size of my hand, probably a bit bigger. So they're, they're not doing too badly but um, they have suffered a bit of damage. But uh, all these strawberry buddies are fruiting prolifically already. Um, I've got quite a few strawberries knocking around here now. There's a good set over there, which are looking pretty sweet. They should be coming along nicely. Um, I've pulled a few of the strawberries out that seem to suffer the most from being without water and put them back in the misting chamber. But strawberries are all coming along and um, got another golden berry here coming along. This doesn't look too happy. I left the um, nutrients in the rooting chamber for three weeks on the trot and uh, I think they've you know, developed some kind of salt concentrate in there so a few of the seedlings that came out of there had this white mottling but since they've been in the rail you can see all the new growth on there is looking a lot better so that's quite happy the tomatoes are so hungry they eat so much um, they've grown a lot as well since last time but uh, every time i've been checking on their nutrients at the end of each week been down to 0.2 on the EC and just as a clue my tap water is 0.4 and that would be mostly calcium carbonate I imagine but um, yeah the tomatoes are very very hungry and a few of them are showing some kind of signs of a nutrient deficiency. Um, the last three weeks on the trot I've upped the EC strength and um, they look better for a few days but I bet if I check the nutrients today um, we'll find that they've eaten every last drop once again. So I might have to change them and put a higher water level in their nutrients just so there's a bit more to go around. Um, lettuce is, we're eating it as fast as we can, we really are. I gave two of the plants away and um, well yeah we've still got more than we can deal with. There's another one there and there's one there in with the onions as well. Um, we've got a pea coming along nicely, that's growing up that vine, growing up that piece of string. Um, golden berry there looking good, this golden berry on the end is absolutely huge and I don't know if you can see there that we've got flowers on it now. So and there's another one um, tucked away down there. We've got a bunch of flowers on it coming along. So that one's very good. The rockets tucked away under there. And we're gonna have to eat more salads. And some more rocket under there and uh, a couple of dollar rosses that I put in, which are getting there, much more slow growing than the salad bowl lettuce. Um, right, tomatoes. Well, I can now tell you this is one of the Sun Cherry Red Cherry hybrids that Trace Waters sent to me. Um, I know this because it was a deterministic bush style one, versus one like this one, which is one of my sweet aperitifs that I had so much success with last year. The brandy wines are also looking quite good. This one particularly so. One over there, not quite so much, but they 
I need to get all of the tomatoes out of this rail, well, half of the tomatoes out of this rail this today. And um, I'll put them into greenhouse number two, which I'll show you in a little while. Um, the onions, again, they're just looking fantastic now. So fat and juicy looking. Um, I think I've got some ants trying to start a colony inside this grow bed. I've seen one or two crawling about, but um, I'll keep an eye on them, and if they become a problem, I'll use Rob Bob's trick and just flood the bed. This onion is doing very, very well, but um, where the leaves have folded over, it's actually split in three of these leaves. It doesn't seem to bother the plant very much. The leaf carries on growing regardless. But, um, you know, they're getting to be a very good size. When I planted this lettuce in here, there was so much empty space in the bed that I just popped a little seedling in, much like this guy here. But it's crowded out now. <coughs> <coughs> Garlic, well, it's got taller than last week. Um, not last week, three weeks ago. Um, still not looking fantastic, but not looking terribly unhappy. And certainly these ones at the front of the grow bed where they can get some daylight are doing quite well. I'll have to move this seed starting tray out of the way and let a bit more light through from the top as well, I think. Um, those are basically ready to go out or into hanging baskets or something like that now, as are all the other flower seeds that I started off in here. So we're ready to have a good display going or hanging from the walls. And the rooting chamber has come in from the office. It's now light enough out here. I don't need the grow light anymore, so I'll switch that off and put it on the shelf. Um, this is one of the strawberries that I put in here because it was looking sad. This guy had four fruit on it and the fruit were developing quite nicely, but it only had two leaves. So I knocked the fruit off and I've popped it in the misting chamber and hopefully we'll see some more leaves coming through from that because there was no way it was going to support four full-size strawberries with just two leaves. So hopefully I'll have convinced it that uh, growing more leaves is a better idea. The lettuce that we gave away, kind of inspired by Kang Star, um, I've popped in here now. I did just leave them sitting in the sink for a week or so, but they seemed to carry on growing even though they weren't being watered. So I thought I'd be nice to them and give them a bit of water. Uh, we've got another golden berry there, and we've got, uh, I think that's a cucumber there, um, and certainly a cucumber there coming along, which is looking quite healthy. So that's it for the plants in this greenhouse. So this here is one of the water pumps that gave out on me this week and it's a uh, Evo submersible pump, 4,000 litres per hour and this has been in use for about two months I think before it gave out and I've already had it to pieces quickly and I found the problem very quickly. This shaft that runs from the centre that supports the uh, little impeller um, should run through the impeller and um, as you can see, it's just shattered into well, three pieces broken off it. And this is made of some kind of ceramic. I'm not sure why they did this, because um, obviously it's, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's something very brittle. So I'll have a go at replacing that with a plastic shaft, I think. See if I can get something the right diameter for it. And uh, I think that pump will then be serviceable again. Because it'll, it'll work as long as it's... Uh, got something to pivot round. The replacement pump that went wrong, um, part of this ring magnet in the middle had fractured off and that had then blocked the pump up so I just cleared out the debris and it's back into service again now. But very annoying, um, I've kind of failed in my own design it to go wrong principle here because I had no kind of monitoring on these pumps so I'll have to think about that and see if I can work out something suitable. And we'll just have a quick look and see how hungry the tomatoes have been this week. Um, I noticed my freshwater reservoirs run out because uh, we should be up to the top of that sticky label. And we're nowhere near there. So, yeah, so these were at an EC of 2.1 a week ago. And now they're down to 0 0.5. So once again these tomatoes have eaten every last drop of the food that I gave them. Which is um, excellent. But uh, I might run at 2.2 this week and see what happens. Just a little look at these strawberries which are coming along very nicely. And um, hopefully have fruit off that in four weeks, something like that. 
So, because all my tomatoes have started flowering now, and the golden berries too, I've switched from using the Aqua Vega mix over to the Aqua Flores, which is for flowering and fruiting. And last week I gave them an extra shot of potassium and phosphorus as well, the PK1314 stuff, to uh, supposedly boost the flower production. And we're also onto the oligosaccharides as well, this can of boost accelerator. So um, I'll just throw some of that into the mix. And this week I'm going to press greenhouse number two into service and put a bunch of DWC stuff in there. Um, I got all the glass in it last weekend, weekend before, somewhere like that. Um, it doesn't all fit properly, there were quite a few broken panes. So I fitted what I could in there with um, reasonable accuracy. There's a big gap at the front there but that's going to come in handy because I need to run some power through. And I've still got a bunch of panes to replace. There's, um, Something like seven or eight that could do with a better piece of glass fitting in there. Which I'll get round to sooner or later, but it doesn't stop me using it now. And I think we're probably pretty much past the last frost. There's nothing on the tender. So here we are with an ultra wide angle on the, the deep water culture buckets I've just set up in the second greenhouse. Um, I call these common rail because as you can see I've got a hose pipe connecting all four of them together down at the bottom. Um, this is basically so I can, it makes it easier to drain them because taking the plants out to change the nutrients is basically impossible. So it gives me a drain point where I can empty all the nutrients out of those buckets. And this black one over in the right hand corner is actually my water level controller. Um, and it's got a float valve in there at the top and then the height of the liquid will be at the bottom of that float valve which will determine the height of the liquid in all these containers so as the plants transpire the moisture um, it'll automatically get topped up again from that black pot. So we filled to the right level, the float valve is floating and would cut off the water supply if I'd connected it and all four of these DWC buckets are a, a good height, about the right height under the net pots so I can uh, turn the air on and let that water aerate for an hour or so to get rid of the chlorine and then throw some nutrients in. So I've pulled out three of the tomatoes from this back rail and one of the golden berries and they've now gone over to greenhouse two. The root systems on all of these four guys were phenomenal. Um, because the nutrients have been getting down to a strength of basically zero every week they've been putting out more and more roots in search of food and just not finding any but they were kind of six foot long root systems on these plants. But uh, that's one of the brandy wines, sun cherry red cherry hybrid, a sweet aperitif and the golden berry. And that's it for today folks, so um, hope you enjoyed that and um, see you next time. Cheers!